and throw your hands up in the sky. Mm -hmm. Good morning, everyone. So we're gonna start this video off with a little bit of gift guide from Dossier. So I told y'all in the last video that my coat wasn't working for Dossier because they were already having a really good sale. One of y'all reached out to me, Talia, maybe that's your name, Tamika. I can't remember. It starts with a T though. And you told me that you had bought five perfumes and you say 50% off. So they have a very, very, very good sale. And y'all know their perfumes are already an amazing price, $29, $39. So for anybody who's new, who doesn't know about Dossier, you're basically able to get luxury inspired perfumes for a fraction of the cost. So a very, very, very discounted price. So if you think about some of the designer perfumes that you know and love, Dossier pretty much has you covered. And obviously if they don't have them on the site, just continue to check back because they do add new fragrances. So I have like a whole bag that I brought down of my favorite ones and two that I've never talked to y'all about. So the first one is Woody Chestnut, y'all. This fragrance paired with Kayali Vanilla is so good. I had wore it the other day when we went to Friendsgiving and when I came downstairs, my mother-in-law was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good, what are you wearing? So the Woody Chestnut is actually Mason Marga Margala. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Re Replica by the Fireplace. It is, let me find it in the bag, is this one. It smells amazing. You can wear this by itself. This is what I would consider to be like a unisex perfume or a unisex fragrance. The other one is Powdery Tobacco, which is inspired by Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one, let me find it. When I smelled it when it first came in, it does have like a super powdery type smell, but I don't know how to describe it. It has honey, vanilla, cocoa, tonka bean, wine wood, tobacco, ginger, apricot. I feel like the ginger is very distinctive in here. Why do I feel like I've talked about powdery tobacco before? So out of those two, the woody chestnut is the one that I've been wearing like every single day now, especially when I go out. And like I said, I like to layer this with another one. But I have four other perfumes that I've shared with y'all before that are my favorites, just in case you wanna shop their sales. So first is the Floral Marshmallow. This is inspired by Killian Love, don't be shy. I love this. This is a very sweet type fragrance. I feel like this is like fun and flirty, but it smells good. This is definitely an everyday perfume to me. Ambery Vanilla is inspired by YSL Black Opium. I like this one too. Definitely like a date night perfume. I wouldn't say this one is actually unisex, but I love that one. My other favorite one is Ambery Saffron. This is inspired by Baccarat Rouge. Y'all all know what this smells like. If you've been wanting this perfume, I definitely would go the route of buying it through Dossier. It smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge. It smells amazing. Um, and everybody notices this scent whenever you wear it. And the last one is Woody Sandalwood. This is inspired by Le Labo Santal 33. I told y'all whenever I went and got my lashes done, my lash tech asked me, did I actually have this on? I was like, no, it's actually Dossier. So this smells really good as well. All of these I feel like are fall fragrances. They're very bold, distinctive fragrances. So Dossier has an amazing Black Friday sale going on right now. So obviously the more perfumes you buy, the more you save. So I'm gonna link um, have the link in the description box for all of my favorite fragrances I'm gonna list down below in case you Want to know and then I also put what they're inspired by but if you go out to the website It'll show you or tell you what it's inspired by as well. But um, anyways, there is a um Have you heard of the butter drop by Fenty Beauty that everybody been talking about Aaliyah's face was the first to mention it and I think she got hers like during the Sephora sale, but then she posted on her Instagram that the fin like fenty the website was actually having a sale so i was like i think it was like 30 percent off so i was like okay let me get it because i have like the regular fenty um body cream or whatever i was like i want to see what the hype is about okay so it came in the mail like late last night and i don't really see the hype kenzie come smell this now don't get me wrong, it smells amazing, but I don't like strong smelling lotions everywhere. Like the, um, you don't smell that? It smells like cinnamon. Like well, it does, but like it, it's like light. Light? Yeah. It's, it's a, uh, it smells really good. I have not put this on my body yet, but the, is it Rio de Janeiro, Solo, Solo de Janeiro, whatever that, Body butter, the Brazilian bum bum cream. That smells good. I got the, the orange one and I put it all, all over my body one day. 
almost threw up by the end of the day or midday not even just within the first hour because it was just so strong and i feel like this is going to be the same so maybe like it's good to put it on like when you get out of the shower you're about to go to bed for the night but i don't know for me personally it's not ground breaking y'all let me know if y'all have this and then i didn't realize i was ordering this big behind jar this is the 200 milliliter the 6.7 fluid ounces I think it comes in a smaller one because the other one I have is smaller. That one is not like heavily scented to me personally, but I feel like it's going to clash if I try to put on any perfume or anything. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me just feel it. Let me just feel it. Put it on my skin. Test it out together. I don't want to put this all over me, but... I mean, it smells good, but it's like... It, it just smells like a chow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of like the smell of this. Like once it's on the skin. I don't know, y'all. On my hands, it's fine. But do I want this all over my body is the question. It smells like a cinnamon roll. It smells lovely. Okay, hold on. You know what? Let me just give it a try on my body. Don't don't count me out yet. Don't count it out. Go ahead and get you some. Get the small one. Yeah. You don't need like five tubs of this. But it do smell good. It says limited edition, so maybe you do need five tubs. I don't know, y'all. She might have been on something in a shimmer too. Mm. Come see that is. Can you see the shimmer? Can you see the shimmer? Probably not. My nails look hideous. Anyways, I'm about to eat my waffles that I clearly burnt. And I thought to y'all later. Do y'all like my fe festiveness? Oh, the kids about to do their gingerbread houses. I'll record that if anybody interested in watching it. So I did like a little morning montage, whatever you want to call it. I added these ribbons to the tree. So y'all already seen this in a previous clip. I think my tree leaner. But I decided to add these because, and I just uploaded a reel for anybody who cares. But I decided to add the ribbon in here because I felt like it was like a little bit empty. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. Um, but I just wanted to keep it like gold. I was gonna get like some dark, deep burgundy um, ornaments to throw in here just to bring some, you know, a little bit more festiveness. But I was like, you know what? No, we need to keep it neutral so it doesn't clash in here. And I finally cleaned my dining room. Those are very green. They look real though. Anyways, but yeah. So I actually need to remove these. I wish I would have removed them before I did my reel. I just thought about that. I also asked over on Instagram if y'all felt like I should um, add a third Christmas tree. Because it is odd going upstairs and there not being a Christmas tree in like the family area, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like they got Christmas trees on sale right now, so now's the time. Like, oh, we're supposed to be doing the exterior today. But anyways, my sweatshirt is from H&M. I got this two years ago, I think. Anyways, y'all, I'm just rambling. Cue the music.
did the outside of the house. I thought I was zooming in. So I'm about to take y'all outside so y'all can see it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Good morning, my comrades. It's Sunday. Ooh. So y'all, last night, I'm out of breath. Because we're outside trying to do the porch decor and stuff. And I was it's very windy outside and I was cold. So I was like, I'm gonna run around for a little bit to make myself warm up. All it did was make me tired. I'm still cold. So I'm about to. Put me on a hoodie and then put my jacket on top of it because I'm trying to be out there for support for my husband. Anyways, so last night we attempted to do the exterior of the house and it was a fail. I actually recorded what it looked like, but I haven't decided if I'm actually going to show y'all. But by this time, you either seen it or you haven't. So you'll know what my decision is. Okay, but we're redoing it because it's a no-go. It is a no-go baby. Where is... Oh, Jesus, I'm tired. Give me a hoodie, somebody. Just something quick to throw on. It is not this deep. Jesus Christ the Nazareth. Nazareth. I honestly and truly thought today was going to be another warm day like it was yesterday. Honestly, it's not even cold outside. It's just windy. While I'm in my bathroom, let me just show y'all what the lights look like. I ordered the faucets for the bathroom. So look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even see it. Hold on y'all. Let me open this. Here I'm glad. There we are. So this is what they look like. It looks really nice. I like it. We actually did this in time enough for me to show y'all on the last vlog. I just honestly forgot. But um ignore everything that you see up on the countertop we live here so the faucets i ordered from um amazon so i seen them on home depot they were actually on sale for black friday for um like 233 each and i was like you know what let me just google it girl they were on sale on amazon for 205 each still pricey but they're the exact same ones that we already have and i wasn't trying to be like creative and trying to find like a different type because these work so i was like i'm just gonna get the same ones granted now granted these are a little bit loose but i'm just gonna blend it on the installation of them so hopefully when we install them this time and I, I think that should be fairly easy now it is it's so him we're not gonna bother with it we'll just leave that as is and when we get ready to redo the tiling um We'll do that, but I'm excited. The bathroom's coming together really nicely. I gotta use the bathroom, please hold. Okay, so, um, y'all, I have the floral marshmallow dossier candle in my, what do you call the room where the toilet is? Is it the toilet room? Okay, the toilet room. I have the floral marshmallow dossier candle in there. It smells heavenly. I don't even need an air freshener or anything in there. It smells amazing and it's not lit. And then the ambery vanilla, is that the one? I can't remember. Yeah, ambery vanilla? Yeah, I have that just sitting out on my counter. I need to order, ooh, I need to see if the polish jar has a sale going on right now. Cause I can go ahead and order that too. And then for the most part, the bathroom, why is this wet? The bathroom will be done with the exception of a light fixture. Some of y'all said y'all don't think I need curtains in here. I'm torn. I'm truly torn. 
I am. But one of y'all did recommend, y'all said that y'all had hung using like, is it painter's tape? Something, some type of tape with the curtain and y'all put it up there to see like if you would like it. So I think I'm just gonna take one of these panels down and like put it up there to see if we would actually like it before I even think about ordering anything for it. Anyways, I'm about to go outside, help my husband try to get something accomplished with this porch. It is really difficult trying to figure out how to decorate your porch. Now the the um door area I really like, but I need to figure out I'm so annoyed with myself because I feel like I was ahead of the game with actually buying things for like Christmas decor and stuff before it got like picked over. You know, like you can't find garland literally anywhere. The garland, like the good garland. And now I'm trying to do the exterior of my house and I'm like, damn, why didn't I buy this stuff when I first seen it? Anyhow, I think I might have to make a trip to Target today. I don't know. But I can tell y'all right now, this vlog about to be short AF, okay? Because... I don't know, I just need to get back um, on like a schedule for, because I don't know, it's just throwing me off. It's really throwing me off. Anyways, let me go so I can accomplish my to-do list, okay? Okay y'all, so it is taking a lot of effort to try and get the exterior of the house decorated for Christmas. And it's draining. I ain't gonna lie. We spent, I, I want to say, a solid two, three hours yesterday decorating that front porch. And we went and left out like, I don't know, like maybe six or seven something last night to go get something to eat. And when we pulled up, I said, it looked like we just threw them lights on the porch. So now he's out there today trying to get it right. And we can't be the house with the raggedy lights that get talked about. So we got to do it right. But I feel like after this year, when we got to do it next year like i ain't trying to reinvent the wheel every single year it's gonna be the same thing every year pull it out do it the same way so anyways i'm headed to the furthest target known to man to get the things that we need because every single target is out i am so annoyed <laughs> i am so annoyed so i came to target before my pickup order was ready my fault um but i was like well my lowe's order is already ready it's gonna take me 25 minutes to get there so i might as well just go ahead and head over there so i'll already be there I'm trying to cut back time so i kept checking the status of my order it wasn't ready so i was like i'm just gonna go in there and shop my own stuff maybe they haven't pulled it yet so i went to the back to the lights they didn't have them on the shelf i was like okay well they already started on my order and i seen the girl go back there anyways i'm shopping around got another christmas tree that's besides the point um and I kept refreshing the app. Well, girl, I almost get ready to go check out. Why did I get a notification saying that they had to cancel that part of my order? The light, lights are no longer in stock. That's what happens when they are not quick enough to pull the stuff from the shelf. I said, I came all the way over here for some stuff that I could have went to my local Target for if they weren't going to have the freaking lights in stock. Oh, I'm so irritated. Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. It's not even morning time. It's like 12 o'clock. So guess what? I think I told y'all yesterday. I like a boy. But look, we have a Christmas tree in the loft. I don't know if we're gonna leave it right here. Cause I can't move, I can't move the shelf over. So we're about to move this, um, what's this thing? The mirror down. And see if we can sit her right there. And then I brought up the only Christmas decor I have left. So we're gonna make something shake because I ain't buying no more. I was tempted this morning at Sojay to buy more, but I didn't do it because I've already spent money on another shirt. Oh, you mean put the little salt bag over there? Yeah. There we go. I was about to say, where should I get this chocolate? That's fake. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah, actually, I have Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bye. Take a look. This can actually be moved back over a little bit. Okay. Bye. 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 So it's not. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, huh. I think it looks good. So where we originally, or where we 
had it the second time around, I didn't like it because it blocked the mirror and the mirror is very much focal point. And then it just wasn't proportioned right. So I think it looks good sitting over there in its own little corner. It's very close to the um, shelf. I wish, I wish the shelf could move over, but it can't. That's a permanent spot. So I'm about to decorate it. I have um, white, a few green, tan. So it's gonna be like just white and tan. Girl, it's gonna be whatever I got left. Up looks like I think she's so cute. I don't know if that bow stand, she a little bit bootleg. Is this focused? Can y'all see this? I don't know. Anyway, so tree skirts are arm, leg, and a thigh. So, what I'm gonna do is go to Home Goods and get one of their $20 throws, probably a black one, and just cover up that. We got my little white Christmas tree right there, and we're gonna call it. But I basically just went with black, white, and tan, same as downstairs, but these are all my leftover ones. So we're a, little, we're a little sparse, but it's okay. I think it's cute, I think it turned out cute. So right now I have this bow. Maddie said I should leave the bow, but I'm thinking that I might put this at the top because it matches these. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna do this because that bow, if y'all seen what I did to make that bow, it is so bootleg. And I could just go to Target, get the $3 one, but I am tired of spending freaking money. Anyways, this is a seven and a half foot. It's the slim one. It's a Virginia pine, I think. Got it from Target on sale, like $120 off, okay? I'm gonna have it linked. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time y'all see this video. Cause I'm a dad like a dollar short, Kai. Anyways, um, and then ignore somebody's earrings right there. I just stuck this right here for a little festiveness. Didn't do anything else to this here shelf. And then I wanted to show y'all the wrapping paper that I got. Oh. I've been watching Real Housewives of the Potomac. So I like to match my wrapping paper, but I wrap gifts. I don't know. I don't think I told y'all. Mm. Lord, where my hat at? Come on, only come up in a hat mess. Welcome to Janice Pates and how can I help you? All right, so, um, what was I saying? You know what? I was gonna not get lashes anymore, but I was like, hmm. I need to schedule me an appointment. Anyways, I did some Christmas shopping this past weekend. I wrapped gifts, gifts, whatever they're called. I think I'm gonna unwrap some of those gifts and rewrap them in the right Christmas paper. Listen, y'all probably are judging me every which way, but I don't care. So I'm gonna keep the red, the gifts that are in the red wrapping paper, but I have another wrapping paper that says, it's white like Santa and something else, Merry Christmas something, written in red and it's just not giving. So this is the wrapping paper that I was originally gonna go with, but then I was like, this is too light to go with the green downstairs. I bought it in a head, this is $6. 30 square feet. Yeah. And then I also got this one. So the two of these match and then it will also match the solid red down there. And then I also got these as my name tags. My nails need to be done. I'm gonna go get these soaked off at a nail shop nearby that I absolutely despise. Let them do, cut my real nails. These are my real nails. Let them cut those off and I just get gel. And then next week I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna try Aprish. Is that, called, is that what it's called? Gel X is what I'm gonna try. 
So anyways, these are these. And then I also got a gift bag. Don't know what's going in it, but she ties everything together. So there's that. Ignore the blender in the background. For anybody who gonna tell me that my tree look like it is squished, like it's too occupied over there, judge your mother, I do not care, okay? The Christmas tree is the stand. I like it. She like it. And that's all that matters. Okay? That's just our disclaimer. Don't want to hear it. I love it. I love her. Beanie, tell them what's up with them. <laughs> Y'all, we're coming to close with the vlog. This vlog is 27 minutes and 30 seconds with this clip in it. Maybe 28. But we're closing it out. That's all I got for y'all. I will see y'all Wednesday, Thursday this week. Maybe we can get back on the road. But right now, baby, this is what we have, okay? And we're just going to roll with the punches. Anyways, my husband is outside finishing up the lights. Hopefully, it will be done by today. And I can show you guys tomorrow, okay? Why you turn that on? You see I'm trying to close out the home vlog. When you see the photo you want to take on this oh. screen, Jesus, okay. it's so loud. Mm -mm. Bing. Anyways, y'all, we made it to 7,000 subscribers. Woo! I'm excited. In a high. Sorry for the smack. I was smacking a little bit in this video, but by this time, <laughs> I don't even know if you noticed. But anyways, hopefully by the time you guys see me, we'll be back natural. We might not have any lashes on our face because I've been picking these suckers. Slap off. You see that? Slap off. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to get more lashes. But anyways, y'all. Closing up the vlog. Oh, girl, you look a hot mess. Okay. How about you try taking a photo of me? Bye.